Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you quickly how to set up an AI. It's actually quite easy. So the first thing we need to do is we need to duplicate this third person um, character here. Now of course you can use any kind of item for this here, but we're going to use a character. Okay, And we're going to just call this um, AI character pretty simple stuff. Let's hop in here and let's we basically need to delete everything here. Okay, so let's delete everything within the event graph. The second thing we need to do is we need to delete this camera and this boom here. And so we don't want an extra camera with this. We can go ahead and compile it and well, looks everything is good here. Next thing we need to do is add in a pawn sensing, all right? And we just basically need to add in the pawn uh, sensing here and um, all that you see you can't really move it around here but what you what this essentially does is that this um, allows the the pawn or in this case the character to see um, uh, to basically see something and what you need to do is you need to compile it and now you can see that this is what the pawn is sensing here now what I'm going to do is select this peripheral visual um, angle here, and we're just going to move that here. So basically, you know, if you think about your vision, you know, if you see something ahead of you, you see it, but if something's to the side of you, you don't see it. Hence, it's in your peripheral vision, and this is something that um, that you can uh, that you can uh, change here. So let's just go ahead and let's kind of make it like that. It really uh, it really doesn't uh, really doesn't matter here. Uh, let's go ahead and save it as well. Next thing we need to do is we need to do event pawn. Um, and what we need to do uh, is event on C pawn. Okay, so let's kind of go here. So if it sees something, what are we going to do about it? Well, this actually can be uh, uh, fairly easy uh, easy to do here. Uh, so what we need to do is cast to um, whatever you want it to see. Okay, so if you wanted to see, you know, a block or something else, uh, or a different kind of blueprint, you can actually do that. Uh, but what we want to do is we just want to do a third-person character, and we're just going to drag that in here. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we want it to move. Uh, I believe it's AI move to. Yes. Okay. So AI move to here, and then the target actor um, is going to be. Uh, the third person character here. Okay, so that's one step um, that we need to do. The second thing we need to do is add in a volume here. Well, first of all, we should probably add in the actual character here. And so you can see here uh, that if we run and play with that and we run into its peripheral vision, you know, well, it doesn't work. Well, that's because we need to add in a different kind of volume here, okay? And that volume uh, is actually has a couple things uh, that we could think of. Uh, so it's a we're just going to type in the word nav. We need a nav um, mesh volume. No, yes, not nav. And what we need to do is it's this nav mesh bounds volume, and I'm just going to scale this out to the entire level. Okay, just make sure it's all there. And all right, there we go. And if you push P, you can see that this green part is where it's going to, um, it's uh, where the character's going to run. So now, if we go ahead and push play. You can kind of see, well, it's still just not quite working. And it's one quick thing we need to set the pawn to self. Okay, so we get, need to get a reference self. Let's go ahead and compile that. I think this should be it, right? And there you go. Look at that. You can move too. And so if I jump up here, watch what happens, right? You can kind of see that the 
<laughs> the pawn will move itself. I think that's really, really neat, right? You can see that, you know, he'll move to you, and then, you know, he will only move to you if he's in that peripheral vision, okay? So if we hop back in here and look at this, uh, the pawn sensing peripheral vision, if you make it wide, you know, you the, the player will follow you pretty much wherever, right? So it so basically what that is, is it's a sensitivity thing, okay? So there you go. That's how you make an AI follow to, all right? So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help us out when you, uh, when you do like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers we get, the more content we can make. And if you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We have everything. Uh, we release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, every month. And uh, it really does help us out when you subscribe. We have monthly and yearly options. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.